What is up, YouTube? It's me, Josh, back with another YouTube video. And today we're talking about the new TCG format and obviously the new TCG Forbidden and Limited list. I'm sorry this can't be a live reaction to the list because I was at YCS Anaheim. So we're a couple of days late. I just got back. The good thing is that I've had some time to think about these. So we have to waste less time on just reacting and we can spend more time on discussing what decks are actually good, what decks benefits from this and so on and so forth. We're gonna just recap these unlimits relatively quickly. Most of of these are completely fine to happen or basically all of these are completely fine to happen like this is where i would have said the dragon rulers don't matter but of course we now know that the dragon rulers are getting some very powerful support soon so until then i think it's not that relevant but when the support is out i actually am pretty excited for the dragon rulers so we're gonna have to wait and see for that pankratops is probably the card on this unlimited list that is the most likely to really matter it hasn't really seen that much play recently but it still is a good card so i i do like the fact that they're giving us three luna light tiger is okay rescue ace airlifter is also very cool especially because giving some help to the rescue ace deck while hitting the original sinful spoils which also hurts it at the same time it's kind of hard to argue with this you know airlifter probably should be at three colossus and ib doesn't really matter because they were legal beforehand whether you have one two or three of these is irrelevant when i saw opening of the spirit gates in the live react i was like god yes this means they're gonna murder you bell i was so down for it we've got seven limited probably the section where there's the least to say cyber draw irrelevant ava probably irrelevant monkey board probably irrelevant dangerous kind of cool but also not crazy i was actually a little surprised that these were still limited this is where it starts we've got chundra and kaiman which basically murders tenpai we have barrage coming back which i think is kind of cool dryden still being banned is weird i think i was expecting it to be dryden but i guess barrage is fine too phantom of you bell actually let me finish the entire thing before summarizing my thoughts we have gimmick puppet nightmare and Jaugen banned, which are both cards that should be banned, so I'm down. And then we have Original Sinful Spoil Snake Eye, which makes me incredibly happy. And that's the full list. A few things. Snake Eyes is pretty dead. Ubel is not dead, in my opinion. I think Ubel is still pretty damn strong, and I don't like that. Looking back at 2024, Ubel was probably even less fun to play against than Snake Eye for me. I thought whenever I was going second into Ubel that games were just miserable, because when that deck plays the game it's pretty much over every time i do think that that aspect of you bell has not really changed phantom of you bell being at one is good but i don't know if it's enough and i'm kind of scared of it because i don't like playing against you bell this is subjective i did not enjoy you bell being in the format much so that is something i'm worried about Tenpai getting murdered i think is a good thing and here's the thing this is ycs anaheim pop cut breakdown before the ban list 14 riseal 7 malice 2 Tenpai, 2 you bell one snake eye. i want to address something that people have been saying after the ban list dropped after this ycs they were like oh cool you hit the decks that were not performing at this ycs anyways and here's the thing all three of these decks snake eye you bell and tenpai were underrepresented at this ycs because everyone wanted to play with the new decks everyone wanted to play riseal and malice and why did they want to do that because they are kind of sick of snake eye and you bell and tenpai format all three of these decks and once again this is subjective this is the way I felt about these decks for the majority of 2024. I think they were not as fun to play against and also not that fun to play yourself. I did not enjoy preparing my deck for Ubel because it basically meant like I had to play 23 hand traps in my deck. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play the game going second. Ryzeal is just better. That is not true. Ryzeal is a good deck, but Ryzeal is not 14 times better than Snake Eyes. It is not. If you believe that, you have not played against Snake Eye with the current format. You have not seriously tried to make Snake Eye work in this format or play against Snake Eye. This number for Ryzeal is definitely inflated. Snake Eyes, Ubel, and Tenpai were all very, very powerful decks. And even if they weren't, here's another point that I wanted to make. Decks can be unhealthy for Yu-Gi-Oh! even if they're not the best deck. If I have a tournament where I play against nine other decks and then three Ubel or Tenpai or three Snake Eye, that can still be miserable. It's not only about their presence in the format. It's not only about their dominance. A deck can be unhealthy for the game even if it's not dominant. FTKs are usually not like the most played deck or anything 
like that, but we still get rid of them because the experience of playing against them is not fun. You can tell me whatever you want, but Ubel is an FTK deck. And so was kind of Snake Eye, because if those boards happen, you don't play. That is the definition of an FTK. You don't beat the Ubel deck if it combos. Even if they were not the most dominant at the most recent YCS, it is still good that those decks are not something you have to really account for anymore. Even my deck list for YCS Anaheim, I wasn't able to fully prepare it for Ryzeal because I still had Snake Eyes in the back of my mind. Even if it is just two or three in the entire tournament, I want to prepare my deck for it. So I was still forced to play way more hand traps than I wanted to. Because for Ryzeal, you don't need to put 18 hand traps in your deck. It's not necessary. Ryzeal is a deck you can beat with one board breaker and five engine cards. That is not true about Snake Eye, Tenpai, or Ubel. After having played at YCS Anaheim, my tournament experience was so much better than in any other tournament I've entered in 2024. And the reason for that was because I played against a lot of Ryzeal and because I didn't play against Snake Eye and because I didn't play against a lot of Ubel and Tenpai. My feature match against Landon Oliver, who played Ryzeal, the game one is probably my favorite game of Yu-Gi-Oh I've played in all of 2024. While Snake Eye, Tenpai and Ubel were not as dominant, I still would like to maximize the odds of having a good time again. What I say is, yeah, get rid of Tenpai, get rid of Snake Eye, get rid of Ubel. Even if they're only at 10% representation, I want them to be lower. I don't care. You can still make the game better. With this ban list and with YCS Anaheim, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh is heading in the right direction. I think 2025 Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment is looking great. I like Ryzeal a lot. I like playing against Ryzeal. I like the Fiendsmith deck a lot. I'm glad they didn't feel the need to hit Fiendsmith because it wasn't necessary. So I think this is great. The only thing, I don't think Yu-Bell is dead. I think people are underestimating it a little bit. I guess we can go through what popped YCS Anaheim. Ryzeal obviously is a huge winner of this ban list. However, Ryzeal as a deck is, in my experience, not that hard to beat if you know that you're going to expect a lot of Ryzeal. The deck is unironically super, super interactive. And as long as you are a competent player, you can probably make any deck solid into Ryzeal. Ryzeal is probably the least gatekeepy top tier deck we've had in a long, long time. Any rogue player can probably attest to that. If you're trying to make your rogue deck work into you, Bell or Snake Eyes, good luck with that. If you're trying to make your rogue deck work into Ryzeal, you can probably do that. I think that is a good sign. My impression of Ryzeal going into the new format is exactly the same that some of the OCG players have said a couple of weeks ago when we watched the OCG players reaction to Ryzeal where they said like hey Ryzeal is probably the most represented deck but it isn't tier zero it isn't gatekeeping anything and it's actually fun to play against I think that is 100% my experience from YCS Anaheim as well so before you hate on Ryzeal and doom post again about the new format just go and try to play against Ryzeal a couple times and I think you're going to have a much better time than playing against you well or snake guy but I also feel like we're going in circles at the moment I think we're repeating a lot of stuff I think Ryzeal is fine I think this ban list is fine I think hitting snake eyes you bell and Tenpai was very necessary and it's very good that they did that I'm looking forward to the next year I think it's going to be good